Cowabunga, dudes! Mikey, dude, why are you so dirty? Bro, I live in the sewer, what do you expect? Whoa, why are you guys so tiny? Because we're the tiny turtles! Hey, Mikey, what really happened? Well, I've been kicking Rocksteady's butt. Yeah, Mikey, I think you need a tub. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Sweet and Crafty. Mama Z's here. Well, looks like Mikey definitely needs to take a tubby. <laughs> and check this out. Not only he is going to be taking a tub, we also going to be doing an experiment. So we have four bowls and we have four bath bombs. I also prepared the water and we are going to reveal different colors. So each turtle comes with its own color bath bomb for example Raphael has red and it's Kawabanga cherry scented then Leo has blue bath bomb and it's power punch scented Donnie has a purple bath bomb blasting berry sand and Mikey has orange bomb and it's mutant mango scented let's go ahead and pour some water in the bowls Okay, so I opened all the bath bombs. They were wrapped inside of the plastic. So now let's go ahead and we are going to do one bath bomb at a time. We are going to start with this Kalabanga Cherry Sanded Bath Bomb that belongs to Raph. And it's supposed to turn from red to blue. So far, it's looking red. I wonder how long it's gonna take. You know what, while waiting, let's go ahead and add Leo's bath bomb into the water. And this smell is power punch. It's supposed to turn from blue to red. Looking so cool, dudes. <laughs> So Raph's water is still red, has not changed yet. I think we have enough time to place Donnie's purple bath bomb into water next. And it's supposed to turn green. And the smell is blasting berry. And I think we can go ahead and add Mikey's orange bath bomb, scented as mutant mango. It's supposed to turn from orange to green. Also, let's place it in the water. think I mentioned the smell in my studio room right now it's absolutely phenomenal it's so fruity kind of reminds me of fruit punch because of all different scents being mixed together okay I want you to please pay attention at our red bath bomb that belongs to Raph as you see it's slightly turning blue there it is okay so not the actual bath bomb is turning blue but we have hidden color inside of a little um, I'm not sure what this is like a little tablet there I'm gonna try to break the bath bomb here's the tablet <laughs> all right let's see if it's actually going to change the water and we know if you mix red and blue it turns into purple color something that our purple is actually turning green and kind of like green mixed with the uh, brown oh that's actually not green pink right yeah it's not green inside look at that now my hands are so purple <laughs> my hands are actually pretty stained as you see but also keep in mind that this is highly concentrated liquid inside of these small bowls. I assume that it's not going to stain the skin in the bathtub, but then I don't know since I'm just testing them in the small bowls. And actually on the packaging it says that it may stain the bathtub, but looks like it's pretty easy to rinse with fresh warm soapy water to remove colorants after bathing okay so as you see the only color that changed so far is purple one and it turned into dark green slash brown which i'm surprised because it was purple bath bomb and then inside it was a pink tablet so i don't know why it turned green <laughs> and now red one slowly turning into like fuchsia color blue stayed the same 
and orange I think stayed the same also. I think our experiment is finished. What I did learn is that the color is not going to drastically change. As you see, red stayed pretty much red, blue stayed pretty much the same, maybe a little bit more of a purple tone to it. Purple definitely changed color, but it looks like sewer water, <laughs> which is fine because our mutants live in the sewer. Another observation that I noticed is that what you see on the packaging is not necessarily what you're gonna get inside. You will get the color of the bath bomb matching the turtle color. However, what's inside is a mystery and that's it for this video i need to go wash these bowls and my hands too because <laughs> it definitely stayed in my hands but i hope you enjoy watching this um i wouldn't call it science experiment i would call it mutant experiment and i hope to see you soon bye